Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack, and I'm here with my co-host, Sochal. And today we are in the vocabulary spotlight. And Sochal, there's this, this thing like a lot of our slang comes from uh, African-American culture, you know, yeah. hip hop culture. And what happens over the like 10 years, you know, when something um, emerges, a new word, um, at first, it's just the young people that use it. And right. then it has this odd thing where it actually reaches the highest levels of society where people even on the news will use these this term these terms and that's why they're that's why new ones are always being created because the old ones are kind of stolen from it's out of fashion right and yeah, yeah but then then it just kind of works its way into the the mainstream and so i've got a, a list of about eight of them and I thought you could just kind of define what they are and because I know you'll know what they are, but I know what they are, too, because, you know, they're uh, old people use these now. So right. the first one is bling. And what is bling? Oh. Bling is like uh, jewelry, um, especially like diamond jewelry and flashy jewelry. Bling, yeah. bling. Yeah. Expensive jewelry. Yeah. You, you, uh. Oh wow, you're wearing a lot of bling today. You know. Yeah, right. I would say flashy, flashy jewelry more than anything. Okay. Because yeah, right. Because expensive could be really dainty too. And That's we true. would say bling, like bling, right? But if it's like a big old rock or something, yeah. a big diamond, then that's a lot of bling. Like the Titanic heart of the ocean or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. It's you're right. Bling. Flashy is a better yeah. adjective. Yeah. Something that's very flashy. You're showing everyone your your wealth, you know, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. Um, what is a crib? Your crib. Oh, a home. Right. I heard crip for a minute. Like oh no, no. Keeper, crib. And I like, yeah. 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 <laughs> crib is a home. Um, and there's even a, a show in the US called like what is it called? Welcome MTV to my cribs. cribs. MTV Cribs. And everyone says, welcome to my crib. And they come in to your house and like tour it. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what it is like, basically. Yeah. You'd walk into someone's house, say, hey, nice crib. Nice. crib." Yeah. 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 Um, OK. How about dope? What is something is dope? Dope is cool. It just means cool. Something yeah. is cool. Interesting. Whatever. Yeah. The A to Z English podcast is dope. Mm -hmm. there we go yes lit i know you we've done this one before lit is like it can mean drunk or under the influence this it one i'm i'm thinking more like exciting this yeah, party I is mean, lit. I mean, yeah, yeah exciting like this party is lit yeah but if you say someone is lit or someone says i'm lit it doesn't mean they're excited it means they're under the influence Right. Yes, that's true. They're they're drunk. They're lit. Yeah. Or lit up is another way we say that. I think. I thought lit up is means like you you crack into someone. Oh yeah, that's another uh, another meaning of it as well. I believe. Yeah. yeah. Again, again okay. these these are uh, the multiverse because there's so many meanings to each one. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. We'll try not to confuse everybody. We'll just just yeah, say lit. Sorry, just say lit. Sorry, yeah. Lit. Um, what about salty? If someone's uh oh. being salty, angry, yeah, mad, sulking, like pouty, angry, annoyed, salty. Yeah, don't be salty. Come on, let's let's go. You know, let's go have fun. Yeah, don't be salty. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about to throw shade at someone? What does that mean? Uh, that means to diss somebody. It's like being snarky, being saying something nasty i have someone throw shade at me today i went to the market to sell american clothes which is my new side hustle and um some of the clothes is from Shein, but most of it is not but for those of our listeners who don't know but you probably do know Shein is like a fast fashion website but just like two items are from Shein. but the lady walked by and said oh it's all from Shein or something rude and i was like but yeah that would be 
it's like being kind of snarky or something. Yeah, th- dis- uh, saying something disrespectful to somebody, you know, being yeah. rude is, you know, you're you're throwing shade on someone, making them feel, you know, they might be feeling really good, and then you throw shade on them, and it right. makes them feel bad. It's kind of, so. it's like, it. I think the reason that it's called throwing shade is because it's not, like, overt, necessarily. It's kind of like a under the rug sort of diss like a lower level like like if you called them out on it they could just kind of be like oh i didn't i wasn't throwing shade it's like a very indirect passive aggressive it's passive aggressive it's indirect it's a subtle uh uh dig we would say at someone and you you're using the word diss which actually is perfect for today's episode because diss is short for disrespect Oh, so, I didn't know that that was short for disrespect. If you diss someone, you're disrespecting them, right? You're dissing yeah. them. A diss yeah. someone, a diss someone is to make a dig at them, is to shade them, is to disrespect them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is an OG? OG is an original gangster, like uh, Tupac or um, you know those guys <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, right. Biggie, biggie smalls tupac all those people they're uh, og original gangster is what but how would we uh, how does it how would we use it in the uh in, in the like colloquial sense you know oh a lot of times now in colloquial sense or like modern ways you say og just to mean like original so it doesn't have to be original gangster it just means original so like um oh yeah my uh dad was an og hipster which he kind of is he was doing that whole dad sweater and jeans vibe thing before all the hipsters did so he was og he's not an original gangster hipster it just means he was originally an original hipster the first yeah you know? the the first of a group to do something you know the yeah. the very first group um that that started a trend you know and right. so if you started a trend and you were there at the very beginning um you are an og you're an original gangster and uh but i hear this uh, i hear this often by just regular people just saying oh he's an og like he's been even in my school i'm an og because i have been teaching at my school longer than all of the other foreign teachers that's crazy so they might say to me oh jack's jack's the og here he's the original the original gangster yeah which i'm very proud of <laughs> <laughs> it's the only time anyone would ever call me a gangster. Um, how about legit? Legit just means real. Like, oh, it's legit. Is it legit? It means is it real? Is it true? Is it? But it a lot of times you apply it to like, uh, let's say someone is wearing a lot of bling, and you say, is that bling legit? Is it real jewelry? Is what they're asking, or is it like fake costume jewelry? Right. Is that ring from Tiffany's or did you buy it uh, from a website in uh, China or something, you know, China like where, right? Yeah, where, <laughs> where, right, right. Um, I think it's short for the word legitimate. Um, legitimate is a is the, the full word. So is that legitimate? But they just shortened it to legit. So, yes, yeah. it's true. All right. That's the last one. All right. All right, listeners, um, if you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave a comment down below at a to z English podcast.com. Shoot us an email at a to z podcast at gmail.com and make sure that you join the WeChat and WhatsApp groups to join the conversation. And you can try using these words that we just went over and this language we went over in conversation with us um, and see how you do. And if you have a dollar ninety nine to spare, make sure that you uh, join on as a subscriber to Jack and I's exclusive English podcast because that really helps us create more content for you guys. And we really appreciate the support so far. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>